Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Control Tower VR. And basically what you're doing is you have to be an air traffic controller and guide helicopters, gliders, airplanes, and blimps into the right runway. And it gets really wild and hectic. This is a really cool game. It's uh, very simple and easy to play and interesting. So let's go ahead and hop into the introduction. Welcome to Control Tower. And we'll uh, Your job will go be for to it safely here. bring each aircraft to their destination. At any time, you can press the trigger button on the Control Tower to skip to the next tutorial. You can draw a line from an aircraft to control it. The trigger button close to the aircraft and move your hand to draw a line. All right, so basically, aircraft come flying in now you and see you have to draw a line. line draw a line from the aircraft to the runway to land to the, the actual plane. runway the runway will light up and, an and arrow basically next to the you can't let the plane the dive the you know the nose dive too Note low or they can crash uh, multiple planes come out of the areas and you have to make sure that you're controlling the traffic uh, making sure the lines don't cross or, or else they'll crash and it's very very unique and interesting uh, the only thing that I'm not liking so far in the game is it does not have smooth turning. Uh, everything is snap turning, which is crazy, uh, but uh, I'm just not used to it. A lot of people are. But you could zoom all the way in here and kind of see the planes land, and that's really, really cool. I find it super interesting, and uh, basically you get points, on the larger runway. and uh, smaller that's really all there the is to it. Uh, it's Try to really, really wild airplane. because each... Different aircraft have different has its own runway and uh, it's very others. very specific they don't all have the same descent to where they have to land uh, see so you got these bigger ones here uh, which are actually much much slower and take a little bit more time to land so you actually still have to make sure the airways here are basically free you see how close they got to each other there? You gotta be careful, otherwise they will crash. So you have to take into consideration how big the planes are, their speed, the whole nine yards. It's, it's really, really cool. Now, as you can see here, there's kind of like an updraft, which is pretty neat. Uh, that's specifically made for the gliders. Now, the gliders are actually really hard uh, because you have to put them in this updraft Otherwise, they really can't land. Uh, they're only powered by the wind, uh, so they really can't fly around a whole lot, and you kind of have to get them to land as soon as possible. Um, it, it's just really, really cool. Very, very simple and easy game here, and it's it's very, very interesting concept. I, I really enjoy playing this, and, uh, and I'll show you here in just a minute. Things get really, really hectic uh, eventually. And it's really all about making sure you're controlling everything the way it should. Because, boy, oh boy, when you deal with multiple airplanes and multiple crafts, it gets wild. That is 100% for sure. But you basically kind of get the gist of the game there. Nothing too crazy. Helicopters have to land here. The blimps have to land here. And the thing with the blimps is they are very, very, very slow. Uh, but on your right controller, if you hit B, you, uh, you can actually speed up the, the process, which Try is really, really the cool. Uh, and you can actually kind of see the, uh, the waves here, how the they're kind of real slow. And then you hit the B button and they, they speed up. Any direction, but helicopters, they, slower than airplanes. they just land right there. And they are a little bit faster. Uh, but they do have the kind of a little bit of a time a delay. Is a uh, so when they land, you got to be real careful. Now, this is what I was talking about, about the air gliders. Uh, they updraft. truly An just basically like nosedive constantly. Uh, so you have to make sure the that they into the updraft and hit try the to go updraft up to stay in the air. And then the you can kind of pull them. Oh boy, I already screwed up. This one's going to crash. We'll watch it crash. like any other airplane. <laughs> but basically they have to catch the updraft there and uh they have to to really be able to land like that it's not easy at all it's it's definitely quite difficult 
to land the gliders. It's it's really really crazy. I just love how you can go in and zoom in and watch them land. It's it's super cool. The last type of aircraft but yeah, is the here's, Zeppelin. Here's the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin the is not all that different from uh, other reminds aircraft. Reminds me of the Goodyear control. blimp. It's you can really draw cool. a line that the Zeppelin will follow. They are definitely Zeppelin they land, land the field, straight right down to the onto the uh, runways here. Draw a line all the way to the field. Into the grass, should I say? The but the they are extremely slow. This is without the the momentum being sped up on it. Just look how slow they are. This is with the momentum on. So even with the momentum so, on, they're as you've probably they're noticed super by now, slow. The zeppelins are extremely, excrutiatingly, painfully slow. I love the voice acting and in this. It's, you know, it's, it's nice and calm big. and soothing. And, and so <laughs> the challenge is very not to uh, the zeppelin, air traffic controller like that's for sure from crashing into the zeppelin. Go ahead and land any other aircrafts while the Zeppelin reaches the field. You know now how to control all types of aircraft. Right. So there are four more challenges in training to unlock the island map. Once that's you finish the training, little bit of you the need to get a there, list of so bronze kind of medal for each challenges of I just want to show to you, uh, it gets real wild here uh, when you're actually uh, moving on to the actual... Uh, <laughs> other modes we'll do the large airplanes because this was really fun to me and it looks really cool when they all start flying around in the air it's just absolutely insane go ahead and speed up time a little bit here so they start coming at us you can't just nosedive them either otherwise you're gonna have a real problem oh no oh no Gotta, gotta make sure you can see how they all just fly around like crazy. I'm gonna have to crash a few, I think. Some of them won't land. Oh, see, it gets real wild. Oh, they already crashed. Oh boy, there's just so many flying around in the air. You have to get real creative and make sure they don't run into each other or cross paths and it gets super hectic sometimes like look they're about to crash they're about to land at the same time oh that was cool oh no look at that we've got to be careful here <laughs> but basically you land a certain amount of craft and eventually uh you know, they you get points and you basically move on from the level. Oh, they crashed. I think the goal of it was was 20 of them this time. Oh no, that one nosedive. But you can literally just like put them right into the ground if you want. Pow! We'll crash this one too. Why not? <laughs> into the ocean! Oh no! <laughs> you can definitely have some fun with it. Very very interesting game. Very like just. It's a great idea for a game. I never uh, even thought of something like this being a game, but very, very cool, unique idea. I love it. Ooh, that was close. Maybe we can have some of them come around the island here, kind of flow in behind everybody. Oh no. Oh, they're gonna crash! Oh, they barely missed! It's just so cool to see them all flying around in the air. It's just wild to me. Oh, no. Oh, man, we're getting a bunch of crashes. But I, I love the movement around it. Other than not having smooth turning, you know, it's kind of like Demio and Moss. Uh, you're looking down onto the board, which is quite interesting. Very, very, very cool. Definitely dig it. Oh man, but the coolest thing is watch them crash. Oh look, the near misses are really cool too. <laughs> Pretty neat, oh geez. Let's see, he's gonna go straight into the ground. Oh, it missed, it missed the ground. Oh, it hit the water. All right. So there you have it, folks. Control Tower VR, pretty cool little game here. 
you know, when you pause it, you can look out the window or out the tower and see all the aircraft up there. That's really cool. Uh, it kind of has like a little glitch where you're in the floor. It's kind of weird. Maybe they can fix that, but uh, very, very interesting game. I absolutely love it. Really fun to play. So as always, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next episode.